Every time I've had the thought or desire to commit suicide, there's one element that has always, almost always caused me to waver. They're sitting right over there. They're my family. At times, I've lost track of that element. For example, the incident I testified to when I took my razor apart at the Siskiyou County Jail. I managed to convince myself that they would get over the pain with time and that in the long run I was doing them a favor by unburdening them of my presence in their lives. I wrote a bunch of them goodbye letters addressed specifically to each person and in the letters I didn't focus so much on explanations but on how much and why I loved each of them. <laughs> then I wrote a general explanatory letter to help them understand my decision. At that time, I saw it as taking myself off of life support. I didn't know a lot of anything about prison at that time, and I didn't think it was fair to expect my family to have to support me for the rest of my life. I didn't know then that if I got life instead of death, I could become employed and self-reliant. I didn't know that if I got life, there are many things I can do to affect positive change and contribute in a meaningful way.